We flick past them on our television screens, but each migrant has a story worthy of a Hollywood movie. This is just one story out of more than a million who journey to Europe by sea. This is the story of Sharif. Sharif comes from East Afghanistan. I love my country a lot. I remember being with my family. Sharif's father worked as commander in the army. He was ambushed and shot. I was very young. I didn't know what death was at the time. Sharif's mother moved them to Kabul to escape the fighting. At the start of the year, my mother had a pain in her knee. She went to the hospital with my sisters and brothers. She was coming back to the house when a car came. It was a suicide bomb. They all died. Sharif was all alone and aged only 15. Some of Sharif's friends wanted to leave the country, so he joined them. They found a smuggler who could help. The smugglers call it a game. If you want to go to another country, they'll say, no problem, we'll put you in a game. Sharif embarked on a game of life or death that would last one and a half months. First, they traveled to the border of Iran. Someone came to us and they took all of our money and everything we had. While we were crossing the border, we were so tired. We saw the police. They started shooting and five people were shot. They arrested 20. Only eight of us got away. They escaped and were driven to the Turkish border. We had to walk for almost five hours. We were so exhausted and the weather was so cold. We saw the patrol in the distance, which was just crossing the border and moving away. The smugglers told us, you have 30 minutes to cross the border. People had to run so fast. After we crossed the border, everyone was so happy because finally we made it. We thought we would die. Sharif arrived in Istanbul, but he was unable to find any work. He tried to travel to Greece, but the police arrested him and put him in jail for three days. When I got out, I found smugglers who created another game for me to go to Greece. Finally, I made it. Sharif has now been at a camp in Lesbos for six months. Living in the camp is so hard. Sometimes when I think about living here, I get so crazy. I try to find somewhere calm, and then I cry a lot. I have an aunt in the United Kingdom, and she told me, I can take full responsibility of you if someone helps you to get to the UK. But if I can't get there, I don't know what will happen to me. I want to have a life, to have a future, to be in a safe country. Fleeing war and persecution is no game. Yet every day, thousands more are forced to gamble with their lives. Meet the people behind the statistics. Share their stories. <laughs>